minus 4 equals 2x plus 6. Again, it's a linear equation, linear because the variable is uh, not written to a power more than 1. This is not x squared or x cubed. This is simply x, so that makes it linear. Uh, it's an equation because it has the left side, an equal sign, and the right side. And there is only one value for x that will make the left side equal to the right side. And just by looking at it, you can't necessarily tell what that number is. So we're going to go through this very systematically. So first of all, uh, we ask ourselves, are there any fractions, decimals, or parentheses? And the answer is no, because I used a simple example. And uh, then the next step says, move all the terms with the variable to the left. So I have a 2x that's written on the right side of equal sign. And so I move that to the left. When I move that to the left, the sign changes. So this becomes minus 2x minus 4 equals 6. Notice the 2x is now gone. Went to the other side. The next step is move all the constants and terms to the right side, or all constant terms, I should say. So I have a negative 4. That's a constant. It's no variable. And I move to that to the other side. And of course, again, when I do that, the sign changes. So minus 2x equals positive 4 plus 6. The next step is combine like terms. So on the left side, I only have one term. On the right side, I have two. So I combine those. This is minus 2x equals 10. The next step says divide both sides by the numerical coefficient that's in front of the variable. So in front of x, we have a minus 2. That is the numerical coefficient of x. So we divide the left side by that number. And of course, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side. So divide that by minus 2. Notice that these two cancel, and we have x equals 10 divided by minus 2 is minus 5. And there's the answer for our equation. That means, or the solution, if I replace x by minus 5, the left side will equal the right side. Okay, let's do a few more. How about this one? Minus 14 equals 3x minus 2. Okay, we'll put a, a line in between so you can tell the difference. Again, there's no parentheses, there's no fractions, there's no decimals, so we don't have to worry about step number one. Step number two, move all the terms with the variable to the left. Ah, here, 3x is on the right side, I move that to the left, so we get minus 14 minus 3x. Remember, when we cross the equal sign, the sign changes, minus 2. The next step, move all the constants to the right. So we move the minus 14 here, we have minus 3x, and again, we cross the equal sign, Sign changes, becomes a positive 14, minus 2, minus 3x equals 14 minus 2. Now, combine like terms, that becomes 12. And finally, we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. So divide both sides by negative 3. This cancels out, so we have x equals 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. And yes, we do have a six step to so simplify, but in this case, there's nothing to be simplified. All right, let's try another one. Next one, how about 4x minus 3 equals 2x plus 7. Okay, so far there's simple examples, but it illustrates how we do the more comp complex examples. All right, first step, again, we can ignore that. Second step, move all terms with the variable to the left. All right, 4x is already on the left stays right there. The 2x is on the right side of the equation. I move that to the left side. So we have 4x minus 2x equals, okay, the 7 is already here, so we'll leave that there. Next step, combine, oh, move all constant terms to the right. So I have a minus 3 here that moves to the right, so that becomes a plus 3. Now notice I did step 2 and step 3 all at the same time. You can do that. Or, if you feel more comfortable, you can do it one at a time. And so, however you feel comfortable with it. But just be careful. Whatever, do you, whatever you move to across the equal sign, make sure you change the sign. Notice the positive 2x became a minus 2x. The minus 3 became a positive 3. Okay, next thing. Combine all like terms. 4x minus 2x is 2x. And 7 plus 3 is 10. And then the next step, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable. That's a 2, divide both sides by 2. This cancels, we have x equals 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Looks pretty straightforward. Hopefully, it's beginning to make sense to you. 
All right, let's see. Do we have any more examples? Yes, let's do one more of this type. We have 4x minus 2 minus x equals 5x plus 10. Okay, again, step number one, we don't need to do that. There's no fractions, decimals, parentheses. Step number two, move all the variables to the left. All right, we have a 5x on the right. We have a minus x and a 4x on the left. These two stay. The 5x has to move across. Okay, let's do that first. So we have 4x minus 2 minus x minus 5x. Remember, when I switch over to the other side, the sign changes equals, and I still have a 10 on the right side. So the only thing I did was move the 5x over here. Next step, move all the constant terms to the right. So I have a constant term minus 2 here. I will move that to the right. And so I have a 4x minus x minus 5x equals 10. And I had a minus 2 on the left side, so that becomes a plus 2. So now we have separated all our terms with variables and all our constant terms. Next step we do is um, combine like terms. So we have 4x minus x, that's 3x, minus 5x is minus 2x equals 10 plus 2 is 12. Next step, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable, minus 2, minus 2. This cancels out. x equals 12 divided by negative 2 is a minus 6. Oop, there we go, minus 6. 